So I haven't done a tower garden video in forever because I haven't had my tower garden up in forever. But I'm starting some plants, which I intend to um, have growing indoors. So I've got um, lettuces, lots and lots of beautiful lettuces planted here. And this is um, rock wool and there's these little uh, volcanic rocks that you put on top. I'll show you, I just wanted to show you what I've got going here. It's just a tray with the rock wool starters, the seeds, and some are already growing as you can see. And then on top of the seeds, you gently pack in this other like volcanic rock stuff that I'll show you um, in a minute. There's my tower, totally empty, but I totally scrubbed it and cleaned it really well last summer when I brought it in. And um, I just ordered my tomato cage, which will uh, go into these spots and be like a cage around it. And then the grow lights will attach to the tomato cage. And that way I can have non-flowering things uh, like lettuce indoors with grow lights. So I'm really excited. This is the stuff that goes on top of the seed once you plant it. So I planted... Um, bok choy. I planted arugula, gourmet lettuce, and bib lettuce. And I did about five to seven of each. So I'm pretty excited because this has 20 um, spots. So I'll have lots of lettuce throughout the summer when lettuce is not even in season. It's so exciting. I just ordered my mineral solution as well as the tomato cage. So as soon as that comes in, I'm going to transfer it. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna transfer it anywhere or if I'm gonna use that room or not. We'll see. Whenever it's time to move the little plants into the tower garden, we'll decide where we're gonna keep it. But um, basically, as soon as that stuff comes in, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it to the garden and we'll either leave it in that room or put it I don't know, I've been wanting to move that fridge into the food truck. So I might make that corner, open up that corner and put the tower garden there and it'll be indoors, which will be so much easier for me because last year this, the problem that I had was the water would evaporate every four to five days and so I had to fill it, which was fine, but I was going through my, my mineral solution so fast that I kept having to buy more and it got expensive. So it ended up being more costly um, to do that than a traditional garden. Even though it was so much more convenient, it was more costly and it has to be both for me to like it. <laughs> so it has to be both less expensive and more convenient. and. For those of you that know me, I would rather save money and do the work than the other way around. So um, this will be a lot more um, time saving and money saving. So I'm excited and I'm going to have stuff that you can't buy at the store fresh or in season or locally in season because it's summer. Lettuce doesn't grow in the summer. So I'm really pumped uh, and thinking about it. I should have done kale and spinach too, but next go, next go around. I mean, once the lettuce head is grown or just harvest it and I'll get new seeds for um, to replace it so that's exciting so I'll definitely try to do a video on a weekly basis to show you the progress um, I didn't do too well at that last time but I want to do better this time 